Hey everybody, I'm back with the next video in the series outlining the software and scripts I'm using to make this mini ITX PMC build work as well as possible. And this video is going to be a quick one. And I'm just going to outline the automation that I've added to this media center. Now I'm going to open up the startup folder. For those of you that don't know, your startup folder is a list of things that um, when you start up the computer automatically run. We have Fresh Bing, the wallpaper updater. That's one of the things and I believe if I open for all users. There we go. I'm actually going to move this over. So everything should be there. This GSB script all-in-one, that is for the remote. I outlined that process in a previous video so if you're wondering um, the full story behind that just go check it out. And this xbmc.bat script is one I wrote. And what it does is it just waits 30 seconds and automatically launches XBMC. And the reason for that is, well, there's actually a few reasons, and I'll explain it. But to show you, I'm going to restart the computer so you can see what it does. And the main reason I made that script came from the experience I had working with the first media center I built, which is the one for, you know, our home. And something we noticed is we get a lot of weird errors occasionally with the TV being off for a while where things like Windows Media Center would not register our DRM or XBMC would render to a window that was a really weird size. And we found out that this is because of um, HDMI's HDCP or High Def Content Protection, which is a type of DRM used for high def um, TV streams and things like that if you have a cable card attached to your PC. And it also was a result of our AV receiver in our computer thinking that once we turned off the AV receiver there was no signal that needed to be sent so it put the um, graphics card in standby or sleep and then when it started up XBMC would start before the graphics card would kick back up and then we get a bunch of weird effects. So. As you saw just there, it waits 30 seconds just to make sure that the people who will be using this have enough time to set up the AV receiver, turn it on, turn the TV on, and make sure it's going to look as good as possible. Apart from that, I haven't really added much automation because everything else is handled by the advanced launcher scripts that we've made. So in terms of getting it set up, once you've installed XBMC and all the other software that I've outlined in previous videos, it's actually really easy to use. If you want to go in, uh, go more in depth with this sort of thing, you can maybe think of creating a script to delete the duplicate videos made when you make a compressed copy. Most of the time the AutoRip DVD script handles that perfectly but sometimes it doesn't and then you kinda have to check once your hard drive is getting full or once you start seeing duplicate entries in XBMC which ones are the larger file size ones and which ones aren't. I'm going to add in a script to delete everything from the recycle bin once a couple of weeks or so. I may have to play around with that, it may be once every two weeks, it may be once a month, things like that. We'll have to see how that goes. That's really up to the family that's going to be using this build once I'm done with it. And that's pretty much the conclusion of the mini-series in this series, covering the uh, scripts and programs we use to make this media center come together. The next set of videos I'll be making to finish off this video series for the mini ITX BMC build is going to go over how I um, manage my library, how I put movies in, the naming, um, how I collect fan art and poster art and things like that, and then how I put it all in this folder that you see here, the images that are scrolling in the homepage for XBMC. So as always, if you like what you see, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more, feel free to subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.